How is the coronavirus spread? The Wuhan coronavirus outbreak is a new illness, and scientists are still assessing how it spreads from person to person, but similar viruses tend to spread via cough and sneeze droplets. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, they release top loads of saliva or mucus. These droplets can fall on people in the vicinity and can be either directly inhaled or picked up on the hands, then transferred when someone touches their face causing infection for flu. Some hospital guidelines define exposure as being within six feet of an infected person who sneezes or coughs for 10 minutes or longer. Viruses can also be spread through droplets slamming on surfaces, such as seats on buses or trains or desks in school. However, whether this is a main transmission route depends on how long viruses survive on surfaces. This can vary from hours to months. There is anecdotal evidence that the virus can be spread by people before they have symptoms some other illnesses such as flu can be passed from one person to another before symptoms occur, but the extent to which this is happening with the Wuhan coronavirus is not well understood yet how to protect yourself and others wash your hands with your hands with clean running water and apply soap lather your hands, including the backs between your fingers and under your nails, and scrub for at least 20 seconds, rinse fasimisks offer some protection as they block liquid droplets however they do not block smaller aerosol particles that can pass through the material of the mask. The masks also leave the eyes exposed, and there is evidence that some viruses can infect a person through the eyes. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, then throw the tissue in the bin and wash your hands. If you do not have a tissue to hand cough or sneeze into your elbow, rather than your hands seek early medical help. If you have a fever cough and difficulty breathing, and share your travel history. With healthcare providers if visiting live markets in affected areas avoid direct unprotected contact with live animals and surfaces that have been in contact with animals if you are in an affected area, avoid eating raw or undercooked animal products and exercise care when handling raw meat milk or animal organs to avoid cross-contamination with uncooked foods. If you have returned from an affected area in China in the last two weeks, stay indoors and avoid contact with other people for 14 days. This means not going to work school or public areas. Areas. If you have returned from an infected area and develop a high temperature cough, runny nose, sore throat or difficulty breathing, do not leave your home until you have been given advice by a doctor what is being done to stop the coronavirus spread and when will have vaccine become available. China has placed Blue Hen and more than a dozen other cities under lockdown, affecting more than 50 million people, although this has not prevented the virus from spreading to all of China's provinces, as the number of confirmed cases continues to rise businesses and countries are taking increasingly drastic action. What started as a mystery virus last month in Wuhan, China, has now killed more than 250 people and infected thousands more around the world in the United States. Seven people have been infected, including patients in Washington state, Chicago, California and Arizona. Most of the patients had recently traveled to Rouen, but on Thursday, officials announced the first person-to-person -person transmission of the virus within the U.S. The National Institutes of Health is working on one but it will take at least a few months before clinical trials start in more than a year until a vaccine might actually become available separately. Scientists in Texas, New York and China are also trying to create on a vaccine, said DR. Peter Hoda, a vaccine scientist at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, but the challenge is daunting. The lesson we've learned is coronavirus infections are serious and one of the newest and biggest global health threats, Hadi said, but these airport screenings might not catch everyone infected. That's because the incubation period can last a week, meaning that can take a week after getting infected before showing any symptoms at Seattle Tacoma International Airport officials put up signs at the international arrivals area, instructing travelers from Luhan to watch for symptoms of the virus. The CDC started displaying the signs in English and Chinese of the SeaTac Airport January 14, one day before the first American patient of the Wuhan coronavirus passed through the airport.